Here we go. Um, I imagine Three, we fit... Two, hmm, I don't one, know anymore, man. Go! 808's been doing so well. I think every character should do well versus K. Rule, but then, like, K. Rule, I think, is just, like, so de deceptively good. Or deceptively yeah, better than any people think. K. Rule was kind of a not great zoner before, and then they turned him into a really good zoner with, like, all the patches that they made. Because Whoa. they actually... Ooh, baby. All right. So don't forget the fact that, like, it has a spike that covers, like, the ledge super well, and he also has, like, a lot of setups for killers in general. But the character has gone from being kind of really mediocre and, uh, to being kind of mediocre to pretty dang good through all, like, the changes they made to him. Well, anyway, it's going to have to change something up because right now, uh, Big Boy is doing really well again. A lot of damage going. My god. He what avoided He avoided the crown by shooting the sun at it? Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, Aonite finally going to even up the stocks here. 140 damage. Normally, that can be a really big deal. But with how heavy and how large the stage is, um, if he's able to get, like, a... A few really good exchanges could actually put her in a very precarious situation. Oh, he messed up his spike. That was a re -grab. Whoa, jumping right into the sun. Uh, yeah, uh, Cupcake's just not giving him a chance uh, to try and, like, adapt, make something happen. Now we have a wait for 808, oh. not immediately up being, so we can get hit by the header. No. Wow, okay. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, no, if he had actually like gone the, the, right, the correct direction, that would have killed us. Oh my god. Cupcakes is in control so hard right now. Alright, good air dodge back. Go the, grab not him! The, first time the 808 would have gotten that dash attack kill like that. Boing. He just boing, bro. Oh, well, that's pretty nice to be able to stop the ball. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, wow, that actually can. You know what? That was a two frame. Because he, like, snapped into it. Oh, that's so Did weird. He? I'm pretty sure. I, mean, I don't know if you have that now, replay. Let's try it I, the replay might catch it. I could be wrong, but, like. See? Yeah. yeah no. It was definitely a two frame. Yeah, no, that was a two frame. Yeah, he like snapped Very over. Very rare in this game. He just like, like relatively his body rare. just snapped back to like to grab it and it put him on the hitbox. Wow. Alright, uh big boy, first person to take a match from 808 on Battlefields this wow. tournament. And that spike was really what set everything in motion. Uh 808, uh you know, I don't think 808 has turned around from a deficit. I think he's just been constantly in the lead, and when he wasn't, he, he's lost. I mean, we haven't had that many. We've had, what, three of his sets on stream? This is and definitely the fourth time was... we've seen him, yeah. Yeah, no, he just, the way that it just, the way it ended up working out. But, uh, wow. yeah, no, like, he, uh, the only time he lost was against Apollo, and that's when Apollo had, like, such a massive lead on him. Uh, super early, or sorry, Zane. When Zane had such a large lead on them on on, a, on 808, like super yeah. early, so they weren't able to make up that gap uh, super well. And it was like on a, I think it was on not Smash, it was on PS2, which also changes the dynamic of the matchup so much. I'm actually really interested to see like what, um, like does 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 he go back to Battlefield? Like Battlefield uh, wasn't. Where are we going? We're going to Smashville. Okay, that's a pretty good choice, actually. I don't know if Spark LOL is actually Big Boy. Or if that's just some other random individual who just fights k a lot. <laughs> we definitely don't have that many, like, incredible k in New York City. Do we have any? 
No, not really. Okay. I I I, I don't know any. Ready? He's just another. He's just an, another individual. Okay. God, his teeth are ridiculous looking. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here, uh, this is actually the first time 808 has lost game one. Yep. So and we're seeing. Oh! Set, so. Nice spike. Damn, Good spike. did he make quick work of that. Not 20 seconds in now. Like, uh, alright. A big boy getting in the damage might be able to just turn this around just through sheer like force of will. But not think yeah. a deck like that. Let's tone up those yeah, let's tone him up. And that ball going flying on screen for like maybe like two frames. I I, I I respect going that deep, but was it worth it? All right, worked out. It, it didn't cost anything, so probably yeah. Yeah, uh, 808 not being aware of how. Ridiculously far, we fit's ledge roll is. It is so far. It's ridiculous. Oh. Uh, yeah, he forward aired. He was like, he was just expecting interception, and I guess he yeah. just did it a little bit too well there. Too much of an overextension, and actually takes out his own life. Uh, and that evens up the stocks. And really, he didn't tack on too much percent. So little, in fact, that Big Boy is able to take the Make stock lead. Nearly immediately. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Really good awareness from Big Boy. Just waiting for some kind of option that leaves uh, 808 vulnerable. Hitting the header. Whoa. Oh, I like that. That was really good. Damn. Anytime he lands the big kicks, he's taking those stocks. Wow. Okay. Off. Edge guard situation here. Nice. I like to just throw away the cannonballs just so I have option to the, the grab. Good command grab. It's honestly one of the better command grabs in the game. Careful, careful. That's a stock. Yeah. Jesus, dude, down smash is so strong. Yeah, and there's like the nature of the way like uh, hurt box shifts. Like, it's such a good dodge option as well. It, it, it's basically yeah, it a counter. It's basically a, a second counter. Yeah, even if it didn't hurt box shift, like it's. I'm pretty sure it still has like the super armor on the belly. It does have that too. Yes. So like, it's just so ridiculous. See this Hello, first Marshall. stock. This stock was just seems like a piece. Dip. And uh, yeah, here's where he's gonna like overextend just a little bit too hard. Yeah, he's overextended. I mean, it's one of the situations where it's like your your opponent has like all of these resources on hand specifically to like try to keep you from approaching or from coming back to the stage. And just like you put it down your chips and you're like, am I gonna like, kill you or are you gonna kill me? Am I gonna just bet on this? How we doing this, you know, like an eleven second stock is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> right, so it looks like we our bands are I think it's we're going to Kalos. All pretty right. good tra stage pick, honestly, all things considered. Uh Weefa Trainer does have a ledge uh not a ledge uh, has, she has a wall jump. Which really uh, increases her versatility for recovery. Uh, K. Rule doesn't. Yeah. Not to mention the fact that his stuff is super linear. He can't drag up the side of the stage. So he, uh, Cupcake should be able to actually hit him on the way up if he really he gets a spike. On the flip side, though, uh, high ceiling uh, is going to make it that, you know, 808 can live fairly long. But, but I don't think we didn't really way... see him die off the top on Battlefield. Yeah, that's so. what I was going to say. I don't think he ever died off the top. Yeah. He always died off the side or by a spike. And that really, like, <laughs> really applies to both of them, to be perfectly honest. Bro, these combos are ridiculous. It's just the way that big boy is covering the uh, under just, the ledge. Yeah, he's just harassing him on the ledge. And, you know, that like that's one of the things that you're able to take advantage of with like platform like that. It's just... Constant sharking. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna go to the wide open or off stage? Like both aren't really good, great situations when like she's just skittering around. Yeah. Let me try jumping away from her and maybe she'll pursue you. Uh, but it's still gonna be. 
That's oh. gonna be some big damage. Wow. Ooh. That's Ow. enough. Wow. Max rage. Uh, Blunderbuss. Blunderbuss. Yeah. While off stage, so like almost as close to the blast as you can get. But uh, Cupcake's not letting him get a big lead with that and just instantly just evening out those stocks. Oh boy. Oh god. Make it stop. You know, you know, wait, with like the huge lead. All right. Honestly, with the trainer can make it up. If she's able to get back on the stage, she can make it up pretty easily. But if she's playing from the ledge, she's not able to do that much damage. Yeah. Anyway, doing a fantastic job. Basic. And a good read on the mash. Basically a zero death. Just never. Just didn't get touched that entire stock. Essentially. You got hit once. Yeah. That's it. And just never stopped hitting him. <laughs> Something like when uh, we fit trainer, like she can play from the ledge and she can be really annoying when she has a lead. But when she does it, uh, that's kind of, that can be kind of rough. Because when she can't force you to follow her off stage. And the place where she does the most damage is on stage itself. When K. Rool reflects the sun, he makes the sun move faster, right? And stronger, yes. Yeah. All right, good use nice. of the header to, to hit him, but you know, he got back on stage and he died to the uh, Never mind. Yo, up air to dodge it? I respect it. Well, you know what? Despite like everything we said about the second stock, uh, Big Boy Cupcakes is like, has him basically a kill percent. Ooh, has him dead. Okay. Taking very minimal damage. Another like almost zero to death. So the sun went right through the cannonball. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, the sun. I could have sworn the cannonball had a hurt box, but I guess it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Might be just different properties. Anyway, even though we saw it was about to be an even game, uh, 808 put the OD hurt on, and uh, Cupcakes is at 120% now. So, scary situation. Once again, if. Uh, question of like. 808 takes this game, he'll have counter pick advantage if they end up going to game five. Mm -hmm. You see, 808's not really, really able to land right now. Like, Big Boy is staying on top of him. He's just trying to do as many hits as he can to force him off stage each time, which is really smart because that's how he got the stock last time. Ooh. And now that 808 is back on the stage, oh, he's gonna. Narrowing, narrowly missing that dash attack, but then getting him in an off stage situation. Oh! He's alive. Oh my god. He's dead. That's he hilarious. got hit by that. He was not ready for it. He did not expect it. He was like, look how <laughs> safe I am up here. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Just very slowly hit him. No. <laughs> no. Bro, that, that cannonball is so strong after uh, after the second shot. Like, he had no... He, if he, he got hit by that, but like, at, like, uh, at the same percent from center stage, he would yeah. die. Like, this felt so unnecessary. Funk. God, that first Crazy. stock. Like, I was, I'm not even sure, like, did he air dodge out of, like, hit stun? Or was he, did he just not react to the fact that, like, he was coming towards him? <gasps> because remember, like, uh, when you're charging Sun Citation stock? off stage, you yeah. have to air dodge to cancel it. Or throw it. Or have it finish. Oh, yeah. I, any of the three. Well, the only one that would have gotten her out of that situation was throwing out the sun citation. So I guess let's see if she, if uh, Cupcakes air dodged out of hit stun. Definitely had access to no, an air dodge. Didn't. Just didn't react Just to didn't it. Just didn't react. Yeah. All right, so we're going back to battlefields. Can't do yoga now. Call the chiropractor. That bowling ball went into my lower back. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, yeah, so we're seeing uh, Cupcake's counter pick back to the first stage we saw, Battlefield, where normally we saw 808 just kind of destroy people here, but Cupcake's actually winning and really kind of just Oh my god! <laughs> the spike blast zone so high. He wasn't yeah. in, but he did it so low. So like he, even though he wasn't in like you know that state of getting spiked for very long, it was long enough because they were close enough. 
and that's a really big deal. Although I say this, and Cumgeigs is already at 100 damage. So, like... What's the thing though, when it comes down to a slobber knocker, it's just gonna be K roll is the one that's gonna be winning that. <laughs> He's the one slobber knocking. Like, He's the slobber knockering is. Now like, he's gonna up smash again. Where? All right, you know what? That was a good way to hedge your bets. If he hadn't mashed out properly, that would have probably killed us. <sighs> is that 30%? Man, Cupcake's back on the stage. Damage goes up so fast. <laughs> Up tilting the wrong way, not quite getting the uh, the hit that he really needed. All right. And now that the deep breathing is on deck, uh, this might be 808's second stock. Done before the first one's gone. Nice. If he's not careful. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's the big wow. All right. Good patience from 808 on the blunderbuss. He didn't drop down. And Cupcakes is back and deep breathing and taking the second stock. Good lord. Cupcakes living to. Jesus! <laughs> no! Like this? 150 damage on his he did first 70%. stock. He did 70%. Oh boy. Like, it always is not able to get any kind of hit in that's, that's like that appreciable. And the header spike getting cancelled by the soccer ball. Doing He's 30 damage. Smash 4. Alright, this isn't Smash 4. That would have been a spike yeah. in Smash 4 for sure. Jesus! He got deleted! Wow. Bro. JV3 by Big Boy. Watch your posture. That was, uh, keep those glutes tucked in. Yeah. <laughs> you better do that. Keep those glutes tucked all the way in. Do gators have glutes? Uh, do, do they? Probably, I mean, look at look at, look at uh, K Rool's tiny little legs. It's like, I mean, he does have glutes. K Rool <laughs> sits. Like those... So, probably has boots. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. I, I can't like say the same for the Kremlings, but. Um, <laughs> well, it depends on what you're talking about. Are you talking about the bodybuilder? The guy that's in the army? Because they probably have boots. Oh, they might have boots, yeah. And you're talking about the, the clap traps? They definitely don't. No. I just meant like the generic goon. Oh, Little chompy guys? Oh, they. they, they Oh. Alright, so game five, we're going to be going to uh, 808's counter pick. What are we going to see? And that is Yoshi's story. Interesting choice. I really wish I'd gotten to see the band on this one. Are, are you going Mario? Or are you going to go Mario? I would actually just start not. Nice, thank you, Roll. All right, I respect it. I was like, bro, it's the meme now. The meme is, yo, Yoshi Story Mario. Time to kill. Not time to win the set. <laughs> All right. So new stage we haven't seen yet. Uh, Yoshi Story. Um, interesting pick because it's. It has the tri plat layout, but we have a lot of things different here. We we have normal ceiling and walls. We have higher base platforms. We have pillar stage. Like, what is 808 looking for in this stage? In the platform layout, is probably a big part of it because uh, it does reach out over the edge a little bit more. And that ended up being a big factor in why Kalos was so good for uh, 808 in that third, fourth game. Or the yeah. third game, sorry. And, like, the higher platforms uh, will make it a little, a little bit more difficult to shark. Yep, and then the lower oh. blast zones. 808 going to take the first stock. 81 damage. Normally, you say like that, like, not too far, but... Woo! Ooh, ooh, pillar good stage tech. allowing him to be able to tech that. He probably would have teched that on Battlefield as well, but then that was uh, definitely made it a lot easier to do it. Yeah. Just go anywhere. Trying to look for that uh, back air spike. All right, good, uh, good use of his, uh, good use of his oh, crown to retreating. Throw I, it. I just realized why you brought up Mario earlier. <laughs> why? I, you meant that because of the stage. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, <laughs> what are you talking about that? 
Uh, evening it up. Ooh, ooh! No, uh, he's fine, he's fine. He's okay, he waited. Smart, good boy. He is oh alive. Oh my god, that was a really scary situation, especially when that air dodge didn't make it back to the ledge there. Nice tomahawk. And then jumping back in and getting the up air. Sometimes people just... No way, not again! Can we stop getting hit by the slow-moving projectile? Just because you think you're safe out there, you big dummy. That's some real big dummy energy. Reflect? No reflect! I'm gonna re-grab, but not able to actually punish it. That's probably another reason why um, why 808 chose the stage was so he could re-grab a lot safer. And uh, sour spot back air, not gonna be enough to kill and. Soccer ball almost killing there, but not quite enough either. You see, like, he's like, yeah, you can't really hit me with anything besides. Very nice. Good, good, uh, good, good, uh, good, good hit on the get up. It's like that, like, we have a super even game. It's gonna also go either way. Well, 808 has been using the, the ledge Ooh. like so effectively. Ooh. Oh! Good turnaround. I actually get behind him and he was just like, nah, I'm going to turn. Whoa, that might be. Not quite, but this is pretty risky. And if he had gotten that back air, it definitely would have killed. But you know what? This dash attack is 100% going to kill. And like that, wow. 808 is moving on to winner's finals. Winner's Win. finals. King K rule. Good lord. Good <laughs> stuff. 30 minutes set. Jeez. Uh, actually, 21 by my recording. Oh, really? It said 51 minutes. I thought, I thought we started 20 minutes in. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Next up, we're going to have uh, Josh Jonathan versus Jacob. All right. Let's take a quick look at a uh, loser's bracket. Luigi's has lost to Stretch, and X Empire lost to Noob. And now we have Stretch versus Noob in winners and losers round seven. After that will be losers quarters, uh, and we have Zach six seven six seven one versus MC Hammer. And right now it's one one. MC Hammer actually did create two zero. We have a lot of like new like talent just pop up today, and I'm really down with it. Thanks guys for coming in. Everybody that entered the tournament, we hope to see you guys over again soon. Now we're entering a. Uh... Losers entering top eight. Yeah.